Do you believe the same thing as him when it comes to the economic forecast about Brexit? I think, we well, see, he was one of the people, I mean, he was Foreign Secretary at the time, and he was, I, I hate to say it, but I think he was quite involved in the whole Project Fear thing, and that didn't really come, come to fruition. And people say, oh, we haven't left yet. No, the actual comments were made about the vote. And so when um, George Osborne made his remarks, he said, we're going to have a budget. That budget was the, in, in the immediate aftermath of the vote. That was mm -hmm. his plan. It wasn't a budget in, at some subsequent mm -hmm. date where we, we would have left. And I think a lot of those predictions, thankfully, will, will prove to be completely wrong, actually. But you get, as an economic historian, that there's a difference between a short-term economic forecast that tries to, tries to predict behaviour and a long-term economic forecast based on putting in place barriers to trade. Yes, I do. But the problem is, is that there, if you're making, which they did, predictions about what will happen in 2030, yeah. There's no earthly power in the world um, which can, decide, can describe what happens in 2030. And my, my, my father's an economist. I was an economic historian. And I think broadly, when uh, Michael Gove said, oh, we don't believe in experts, I think that was, he didn't phrase it that um, nicely. But I think there's a broad point about ec the, the pretensions of economics. I mean, economics is essentially a social science. It was known as political economy until essentially the middle of the 20th century, broadly. Okay, the late 19th century. And it's adopted very much the, 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 the prestige, the heavy mathematics mm -hmm. of physics. But it can never be physics. It can never be a hard science because you're dealing with human motivation and human behavior. And I think that, um, that I, I, I respect economics hugely, but I think some of the claims that economists make about the subject and some of the, uh, the authority that it, it tries to bring to itself is pretty spurious. That's, that's all I would say. I think we've yeah. got to take it with a pinch of salt. Where are the 